Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome back to the van build. I've been renovating a Ford E250 van for a while now, but I've definitely come a long way. It's crazy to look back on my pictures and videos to see where I've started to almost having a completed van. For the most part, the structure, bed, and electrical are complete. It's mainly just the kitchen that's left. But as of my last fan update, things are not going as planned when I discovered a leak in my roof. It feels like it's been three steps forward and two steps back. Follow along this van building journey with me as I get back on track. Hello everyone and welcome back to the van build. So obviously last van video did not end how I wanted it to. A leaking roof is never a good thing, it's super frustrating. So priority one for this video is to figure out what the leak is, fix that, and hopefully I can get back on track. I also want to thank everybody for all the support I get so far. I posted my first vlog two weeks ago and I know it's not as exciting as my van build videos, but thank you so much for the support. I really enjoyed sharing it. If you did watch my last vlog, we introduced a new character to the story. You might have noticed Penny, unbeknownst to me, hopped in my house and was just exploring while I'm click clacking away on my computer. It is with sad news that I have to say that Penny has passed away or has been murdered. Penny was a unique chicken whom all the flock hated. They literally bullied her, picked her feathers. We let her roost by herself, we fed her by herself, and she just kind of went around the yard doing her own thing all the time. Was it the chickens? Was it the rooster? Was it the dogs? Our money is on Frankie. Please enjoy this quick montage for copyright purposes. Let's get back to the van builds. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I have my Patreon and my Amazon link in the description below. And let's get started. Okay, last video was horrible. I left not finishing anything on my to-do list. I came in to start doing stuff and something from the ceiling was leaking. I destroyed half of my ceiling. As you can see, I have lights hanging around everywhere. So I'm really gonna investigate and try and see what is going wrong. And hopefully we can go from there. Hopefully it's an easy fix. I don't think there's anything easy fixable about putting together a chung and groove ceiling after you just undid it, but we're gonna stay hopeful. Everything's completely dry. I think I know what might be leaking. Um, you know how up top, whenever I was doing my roof, there was like some random little thing. Looks like a light once went there, I don't know. The whole time the ceiling was not done, there was never any water. That's the one thing I'm thinking of. I don't think it's where the solar panels were. So I'm gonna pull out a ladder and see if I can investigate it any further. Stumped. Okay, so I'm breaking a sweat. I just went up there and scraped this off. It was like a hole like that big and like this part that I had to scrape off was very, very sealed. It was not an easy task, but I'm thinking this is what it was. Fingers crossed. So now there's a hole about this size, about the size of a quarter. Trent's helping me brainstorm what to use up there to seal it, but I think this is the culprit. <laughs> Okay, so I'm on top of the roof and I cleaned up all the leftover goop with alcohol and it's a nice cleanish surface, as clean as it's going to get. The plan is, I don't want to hear anything in the comments because I feel like you guys are not going to like my plan, but <laughs> this is what I'm doing. I have this piece of like, just aluminum, <laughs> just like a little thicker than aluminum foil. It's thicker than aluminum, it's not aluminum foil, it's thick. So I'm going to give the surface a nice coat of this Loctite marine caulk adhesive sealant. Give it like a really good coat. Sandwiches on top of the hole, which is, the hole is probably about this big, so it covers it a lot. 
sandwich that on top make sure there's no bubbles make sure it's like really secured and do another coat of this like completely covering it so there's no seams there's no like anything exposed it's just this barrier and it's gonna be caulked completely underneath and on top and then thinking in the future I probably won't fix my ceiling for a minute just to make sure everything is good move on to the rest of the stuff I had planned for the kitchen cabinet area and get back to that once I am confident that was the problem first of all and that the solution is working fingers crossed we get this done yeah so the tip is like completely solid I know you can put it in the back of the little caulk gun and cut it off but I'm just gonna go ahead and get the jigsaw and cut the tip off I literally cut the tip all the way off but it's coming out so that's what matters basically spackling it. Okay. Alrighty, Rue. We're done. Okay. Oh wait, let me show you guys. Oh, look how pretty it looks. So I think I'm going to semi get back on track from where I ended off last video. I'm gonna go ahead and take this sink out Give it a really good cleaning before I permanently put it in there. Use that marine caulk adhesive before it completely dries and go ahead and secure my sink down. Okay, I'm hoping there's not too much overspill. This is, look at a mess. Here goes nothing. Is that thick enough? No. Let's put some more. I feel like I'm gonna regret this. Okay. I feel like I need a lot of weight in here. I'm gonna have to come back and do the sides later when I have a caulk that actually has a tip, but this will do for now. Okay. Um, no. A bunch of weight. Literally anything I can find. Okay, so it is after work on a Monday and I'm still being productive. I ordered, what did I order? Oh, I ordered the vent for my fridge. I know a lot of you guys commented on that. I mentioned that last video as well, but obviously nothing happened with that right now i have these two one by twos and these are gonna act as spacers on the side of the fridge so there's a pretty sufficient gap and i'm hoping that will be used to help ventilate the fridge as well assume if that was shot very deep it would be able to go all the way through and go to the next side because the other one goes way too far in but I guess that's what we're stuck with okay it barely goes through the other side all right and finished Okay, so it is the middle of a Saturday. I just got this in the mail. It is a vent that's gonna go right here for the back of my mini fridge to sort of ventilate through the side. So I have my whole saw. Um, I thought there was supposed to be a drill bit in it to like guide it and make sure it doesn't go all crazy. I couldn't find it or figure that out in Trent's on Home. So I have this and I'm just gonna go really slow and make sure it doesn't move all sorts of crazy ways. 
but obviously this isn't big enough. So I have my jigsaw to go back and clean it up so the vent can fit all the way in. I have myself a blueberry truly. I just went to Walmart earlier today and it's basically summertime over here. I should be at the beach, but instead I'm here sweating. Ooh, all my glands just went crazy. Do we go for it? Oh my goodness. I need a drill bit. This is not gonna work. There's supposed to be a drill bit on here. I know it. Okay. Scratch that. I, I just got this new hole saw that already had the drill bit attached to it, so I know how to use this. Oh no, my gosh, I'm getting so much. trace it and use my jigsaw for the rest of it. Okay. I've earned myself a break. It's so hot. That was so much harder than I thought it would be, so I need to cool down. I'm full of sawdust, I'm itching everywhere. I decided that I'm going to drill another circle on the back end of the opposite side, but how the heck am I supposed to get this chunk of wood out of here? I guess I'm stuck until Trent gets home and helps because I have no idea how I'm supposed to get this out. Wow. While I wait for next steps, I got my fabric back out for the walls and I'm gonna start getting back to this and let's get started. If we could run it back and turn your water If we could run it back If we could run it If we could run it back and turn your water Looks good I don't know why it's taking me so long to do that. I think because the first time I didn't know how I wanted to do it. So it was such a big headache, but honestly I did this in like 10 minutes. It was super easy. I still have to figure out how to really seal up this top part, but overall like it's up and it's on there. And this is the side that really gets sun. So I'm excited to see in the evenings if having this cloth here kind of helps the heat. completed this side all the way back there is not glued down yet but I think it'd be easier to go in the back and just lift up the bed slats and work back there but the horse flies are out I got bit by a horse fly and my foot was bleeding my foot's never bled from a horse fly bite before okay the schedules finally aligned Trent is free I am free so we are going to get back to this gray water plumbing, hopefully figure it out, get it in a good spot. Notice I didn't say finish it. I don't have high hopes, but we're going to drill the hole in the floor and move on to something new. It's perfect. Than a screwdriver? Yeah. What's stronger than a screwdriver? There 
Cut in. Next step, insulation. It's stuck. Put in reverse. There you go. If I can try to dig out the insulation. Yeah, there is the hole. There's some fat mat, so it's gonna get tarry. We just drilled through the floor, the plywood, and insulation, but there's fat mat, the sound deadener I installed in like video two, and it's basically just like black tar, so that's gonna really gunk up the hole saw, so Trent's getting under the van right now, and we're gonna do it from the underside. It stinks. Smells like the tar. I see you. <laughs> we did it. Now this tubing is gonna go through that and I don't really know what the next step is. So we're gonna have this going in here. Look how easy that is. We successfully have a hole in the floor and I have my little flex pipe that's gonna be going down. The flex pipe's not gonna be all under the sink but mainly for the connection from the sink plumbing to the gray water. This is the adapter to put it to the gray water and the little clamp to tighten that, cinch it off, whatever. I'm taking and using Teflon tape to okay. put on the thread so uh -huh. that it helps seal it. Okay, sounds like you know what you're doing. Uh, maybe. That's it. Right. it. That looks great. Good job. This is all my idea. Yes. Sir. Okay, so we just attached the flex tube from inside to the gray water tank. Now we are putting on this electric pump that I got to empty the gray water tank and we're using this brass nipple to do that. So it's electric so the wires will go through the van and I have a switch that we're gonna use and it's like reverse polarity or something like that. We'll get that done eventually. Okay, that's it, fit good. I just easily found the plumbing piece we need to do like the little air vent hole. So flex tube from the inside done. Oh my gosh, I thought the chicken just attacked Frankie. I think Frankie's trying to play with the chicken. Frankie! He's feeling a little rambunctious. Look at him. Frankie, what are you doing? Come here, Frankie. So we have all the plumbing pieces. We're gonna put together a little thing for the air ventilation piece of the gray water. This should work good. Can't get any better than that. Everything's done. Everything for the gray water is pretty much finished when it comes to plumbing. Obviously, we still have to finish hooking up the plumbing from the sink for the gray water to drain. Other than that, everything is done. But I'm calling it for the day. My nose has been running the whole time. We're gonna brainstorm what we're gonna do next when it comes to the sink, and I'll see you soon. Okay, while I was working, Trent went to the store and got some parts to finish off the gray water plumbing and the sink plumbing for my van. 
So we're gonna hurry up and go knock that out. It is after work. Trent and my mom are about to leave for Mississippi for a couple of days. So procrastination who we are getting out there and getting this done. We have a couple of pieces that Trent went by. I would try to explain how this is gonna work, but honestly, I have no idea. Trent tried to explain it to me earlier and I'm like, just stop, I'm not understanding. But we have this one and a half inch extension tube, a one and a half inch P-trap, a dishwasher branch tailpiece. I think this is what's gonna help hook up my P-funnel that I bought. Which brings me to my pee funnel. This is the pee part and it came with this little thing but obviously we're going to take the hose out of this and hook it up directly to the gray water and honestly that's all I know so far. Let's see if we can complete all the pieces. Okay, so what's the first step? Do you want to go from sink down or from gray water up? Sink down. I think that's a good idea. What's the first piece? Don't be taking first everything out now. Right here. So that's the pee trap? Mm, no. No. It's a sink connection. Okay, so this goes on. on. Okay, now what? Okay. Same thing here with this one. Okay, finally. Okay, so this needs to go this way. It's going. Okay, so P traps on, so now I'm putting the, what's this? Just a flexible elbow. Okay. Like it work. This grows into uh -huh. for the flex. Roger that. And this is going to the This part. is going to here? See if it's going to work. That's going to here. Okay. Yeah. And then pipe, and then this, and then flex. Yeah. Okay. We got to glue it and cut it to length. Hours later. Screen on. Oh, me? Mm -hmm. I officially have all of my gray water done. That was honestly so much easier than I thought it would be. I will try to link all of the pieces I used below because if it wasn't for these specific pieces, I just would not have been able to do it. So we have it starting from the sink. We have this mini little Y thing right here. And so this is where my P funnel is going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. The cap is kind of like stuck on it. I'm just going to leave it for now until I'm like 100% about everything I'm doing. Honestly, we could always leave it. So this just slips right in mega easy and we could probably clamp that later. And so this is my P funnel. I'll probably cut the wire for this. I'll just have that coiled up and it'll be stored right here so whenever I need to pee I can just open I'll have, probably have a little curtain right here open it up take it out do my thing and put it back so I'm super happy with this it has like a little cap opens it has like rubber on the outside and then you can put the cap back on store it away now it is officially finished. That wraps it for this video. Thank you guys so much for following along. I can't believe, like I'm actually back on track. I didn't even think I was gonna get this accomplished this video, so I'm feeling great. I think it looks great. Next steps, I have no idea. No clue. Oh, okay, I'll give myself some next steps. Next steps, finish this fridge and like secure it to the sides. Do the electrical for the fridge, do the electrical for the gray water tank pump, and I guess start on the plumbing for the real water lots to think about but thanks again make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel okay that's everything see you guys next time